Funding for this program is brought to you by Alpha Natural Resources. We fuel progress around the world. We do this through the energy of our people. Charleston Area Medical Center, the heart and soul of healthcare. On the web at camc.org forward slash kids to learn more about the 5210 initiative to keep kids healthy. The West Virginia Mutual Insurance Company, working every day with physicians in the entire healthcare community to improve public health. The West Virginia Mutual Insurance Company, physicians insuring physicians. For more information, visit us online at www.wvmic.com. And by the West Virginia School of Osteopathic Medicine is proud to support Abracadabra as part of its Healthy Children's Initiative, which is focused on improving the health of West Virginia's children. Everybody and welcome to Abracadabra. Jelly the Artist welcomes you too. <laughs> I see you've been drawing again. Oh yes, and I got some great pictures. Oh, that's wonderful. Yeah, you know, we're going down to Daisy's Hard today. That's right, I'm so excited about that. Yes, yeah, so I decided to draw some pictures of animals. Oh, well that makes sense. Gonna see them? Okay, right here, yeah. All right, let's take a look at the first one. Um, oh, uh, what is that, Jelly? I call it a pig coming out of a green fog. A pig coming out of a green fog? I, I don't see the pig. Well, that's because it's in a fog. You only see his nose. <laughs> oh, Joey. Oh. Should we look at the next one? Yeah, okay. Let's see what this is. Oh, well, what is that? That's a giraffe. A giraffe? Yes, and he swallowed the telephone. A giraffe swallowing a telephone? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, I see. All right, I'm afraid to ask. What about this one? Oh, no, that's the best one yet. Really? Yeah. All right, let's take a look. Uh, oh, what is that? Oh, no, you have to guess. I have to guess? Yeah. Well, is it a flower? Uh, no, not at all. Not a flower. Uh, is it an antenna? Not even close. Well, I give up, Joey. What is it? It's a spider doing a handstand. I a spider doing a handstand? Yeah. <laughs> oh, Joey. <laughs> it's time to make a healthy choice. <laughs> It's time to play the Make a Healthy Choice game. I'm gonna show you three products. You have to decide which one is healthier. Today, let's look at fish. We have a grilled salmon, baked and breaded fish, and fried fish. Which one would you choose? If you chose the grilled salmon, you'd be correct. The grilled salmon only has 166 calories, no sugar, and about one and a third teaspoons of fat. The baked and breaded fish contain 283 calories, no sugar, but almost two and a half teaspoons of fat. The fried fish filet has 396 calories, no sugar, but four teaspoons of fat. So the obvious choice is the grilled salmon. Make a healthy choice at home, and you'll always be a winner. Hi, kids. Hi, Mike. Are you excited about going to Daisy's farm today? I want to see the cows. And the pigs and other animals. Not me. I want to see the fruits and vegetables. Why the fruits and the vegetables? Because I'm hungry. Oh. <laughs> I see. 
Well, while we're waiting for Daisy to take us to the farm, would you like to see a magic trick? Sure. Yeah. Okay, good. Today I thought we'd do a trick called the vanishing elephant. Okay. I've got my elephant. Show you both sides of it. And Jordan, can you hold this for me? We're going to see if we can make that elephant disappear. I have a little platform and some plaques. I'm going to take one of the plaques and place it on the platform. And the other plaque also on the platform. There we go. Now, we're going to take the elephant and put it between the two plaques. Watch it real carefully as we make it disappear. Ready? Did you see it disappear? I think it's between the plaques? Let me show you. See, it's gone from this plaque. And it's gone from that plaque. Look at that. <laughs> Let me get my magic wand. There it is! Oh, <laughs> I didn't mean to show that to you. Let me show you then how it works, okay? Would you like to see how it's done? Yeah. All right, good. Let me take the elephant out. Okay, good. Now, you start out with the stand, and you take one of the plaques, and you place it on the stand. And you take the other plaque, and you place it on the stand, just like that. Now you take the elephant, you place it between the two plaques, and it goes down the slot. Okay. Now you make a little magic pass, and you pick up one of the plaques and you show that it's empty, and the other plaque and you show that it's empty. Of course, what they don't see is that the elephant is down here, underneath. Okay. But do you know what happens if in fact they do see that? Then you have to say the magic words. Can you say the magic words, ready? Abracadabra. See, then you pull off the cloth and you show them that, in fact, the elephant has really disappeared. Wow. Hi, everyone. Oh, hi, hi Daisy. Daisy. Are you all ready to go visit my farm? Yes, I want to see the animals. The cows and pigs. And the fruits and vegetables. Max is hungry. Oh, I see. <laughs> Don't forget about me. Hi, hi Professor Science. Science. Tea. Well, you didn't think you were going to go to Daisy's farm without me, did you? <laughs> of course not. Oh, that's great. Is everyone here? Uh, say, Joey, are you a duck ready? Oh, yeah, a duck and I are ready. Oh, yeah. Let's go! Over there is the barn. Do you see the weather vane? And over there are some of the cows keeping cool in the shade. What a great farm, Daisy. Well, guys, we made it to the farm. Let's head into the barn. Oh, yeah. yeah. Let's go. Wow. Oh, this is going to be great. <laughs> Wow, Farmer Kenneth, this is an amazing farm. Well, thank you. <laughs> Boys and girls, this is Farmer Kenneth. He works with Daisy on the farm. Tell me, Farmer Kenneth, what time does a farmer start in the morning? We normally start at 6 a.m. That's early. It is early. <laughs> and how long in the day do you go? What time do you end? We usually end at dark most days. Wow, so it's a long day. Yes, it is. Yeah. So tell me what a typical day is for a farmer. What do you start with? Normally we start with uh, checking the cattle, feeding the cattle. Okay, and what do you feed them? We use, normally feed them hay in the wintertime. So what is hay? Hay is grass that we cut during the summer and we prepare it for the winter. And how much hay does a cow eat? Oh, a cow can eat a lot of hay, but we only give it about a half a bale. That's still a lot of hay. That is a lot of hay. <laughs> so what else do you grow on the farm? Oh, we grow corn for the cattle and we grow sweet corn for ourselves. And so do you keep all of this for yourself? No, we have to share it with our neighbors, uh, and we take it to our local markets. So the fruits and vegetables that the boys and girls eat at home and the meat that they eat at home really come from the farm? Yes, it does. So farmers are really important in order for us to be able to eat. The farmers are very important. That's where all of our food comes from. That's great. Do you think we could go see some of the fruits and vegetables? Let's go see the vegetables. Okay, come on. Look at all these vegetables. What 
type of house are we in? This is a high tunnel. Some people call it a hoop house. And why are you growing the vegetables in a hoop house? We're extending the growing season. And how long is the growing season? The normal growing season starts about um, end of May. Okay, and, and how long does it go? It goes through normally end of August. So about three months? Yes, about three months. And how much more do you get to extend that with the hoop house? Uh, April through October. So a lot more time. Oh, yes. And why is that important? It is important because we are growing two crops here. So you can get more to the We're grocery store. Taking more to the market, yes. <laughs> That's great. Mike, I realized it's time to feed the cattle. Oh, I'll go with you. Hey Daisy, what are these? These are green beans. And some other foods we grow are peppers, onions, and lettuce. We grow all of these. And this is where your food comes from, down on the farm. Your food has grown down on the farm where the wheat that makes your bread is sown down on the farm vegetables and fruit and more that you buy in the grocery store now you know where they start before down on the farm where are chickens cows and pigs all raised down on the farm From the eggs and milk and ham are made Down on the farm Dairy products, meat and more That you find in the grocery store Now you know where they start before Down on the farm So much food that's good to eat Starts with farmers planting seeds then the plants grow ever higher With rain and sun and fertilizer Now tell me where your food comes from Down on the farm They grow any kind of food you want Down on the farm Tomatoes, berries, beans galore Carrots, melons, peas and more Before they reach your grocery store there down on the farm. Hi, Professor Science. What do you have in your hand? Hi, Max. Hi, boys and girls. Hi. Well, what I have here is fertilizer. Fertilizer is food for plants. Plants need food just like you and I to help them grow. What's in fertilizer? Well, Allison, fertilizer contains macronutrients. And some of the most important macronutrients for plants is nitrogen and phosphorus and potassium. Well, what's potassium? Well, potassium is a micronutrient that allows plants to grow a healthy root system. And roots are really important because that's the way plants absorb water and other nutrients in the ground. And then phosphorus is important to help plants bloom. And then finally, nitrogen helps produce the beautiful green leaves that plants have. So farmers use fertilizer to help grow the food that we all eat. Isn't that really cool? Yeah! Yeah! And remember, it looks like magic, but it's science. Daisy, running a farm seems like a lot of hard work, but it sure is fun. Can we come back tomorrow? We'll see, Joey. We'll see. Did you have fun on the farm today? It was great. I never knew vegetables grew like that. <laughs> I got to see a cow. Oh. I got to see a sheep. Well, that's great. But we could sure use a magic trick right now. Right. <laughs> okay, well, I have one right here. I have two tubes. I'm going to show you these tubes. It has four colored balls in that one, and the same in this one. And I have a little bag. Open up this bag. I'll tell you what, Kate, can you take these balls and those two 
and dump it right into the bag for me. Very good. And Katie, can you do the same with these? Perfect. Now I'm gonna cover these tubes. And Hannah, I'm gonna give you one, and I'm gonna keep one. And I'm gonna have you reach in so you can't see and grab one of the balls out of that and cover it and place it into the tube. Okay, you have that? Okay, good. I'm gonna do the same thing here. I'm gonna reach in, see if I can grab one and put it right into mine. Okay, now you do the same thing again. Okay, very good. I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna reach in, and put one in mine. Okay, another one. Right. And I'm gonna reach in and find one for me. There we go. Take one more. Good, and I'll take the last one out of here. Now, neither of us could look into the bag. Wouldn't it be amazing if we chose the balls in the same order? Let's see what you did. Look, we have green and red and yellow and blue. And take a look at mine. We have green, red, yellow, and blue, too. Wow, that's amazing. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you. That's Thanks, great. Mike. You're welcome. Thank you. It's time for a healthy snack. Wow. I brought back some veggies from Daisy's farm. I thought we'd make a healthy snack. Take a pepper and cut it in half. Then take the seeds out of the pepper and you have a pepper bowl. I've already done one of those to save some time. Now, the next thing you do is take a little salad dressing and place it at the bottom of the bowl. It's about a teaspoon. Then I've cut up some other veggies. Take some celery and place it in the bowl. And then maybe some carrots. That looks pretty good. And then some peppers. The rest of the pepper that I used to cut off the other half of the bowl. And there you have an edible veggie bowl. It's only 93 calories, has only one gram of fat, and it's high in fiber. Enjoy. Mm. I sure had fun at Daisy's farm today, Mike. All those animals. I know, Joey. And you know, besides meat, those animals give us lots of products. Really? Like what? Well, for instance, do you have a pillow? Yeah. Is the pillow down? No, it's on the head. No, Joey. The pillow is down. What do you mean, down where? Joey, the feathers in the pillow are called down. The feathers are called down where? Joey, the feathers are duck feathers. No, they're not. They're nice feathers. Joey, you get down from a duck's back. I'm not on a duck's neck. What, are you crazy? Uh, oh, let's try another one. How about leather? Do you know what leather is? Oh, sure. Okay. Well, you get leather from a hide of a cow. Where? Cow hide. Why should the cow hide? The cow is in hiding, but you said, no, you get leather from the cow hide. Hide from the cow. Why should I hide from the cow? Not you, the leather. The leather should hide from the cow? What are you talking about? Oh, Joey. The leather comes from the skin of a cow called the hide. Oh, I get it. Well, finally, the leather gets down from the duck's back and hides from the cow. <laughs> oh, Joey. <laughs> Would you like to see an illusion? Yeah! It's in the illusion room. I have an empty box. I want to show that to you. Let's see if we can produce a bottle. We've got a beautiful white bottle. I'll show you that it's empty though. Okay. And, oh, we produced a red bottle. Oh, it's still empty. We have a yellow bottle. Wow. Any more? No, I don't see any more. And, oh, we have a green bottle. Wow, nothing there. And, oh, even one more bottle. Look at that, all these bottles. Hmm. I'm going to give you your choice. You can have this bottle. Okay, you can have the green bottle. You can have the yellow bottle the red bottle, 
or the white bottle? Which bottle would you like? White! The white bottle. Okay, watch. Can you say abracadabra? Abracadabra! And look, we've made all the other bottles disappear. Wow. I've got a cover. I'm going to place that over this, too. You know what the white bottle reminds me of? It reminds me of milk. Wow, thank you for helping me. That was great. Wow. I sense it's time for Professor Science. Yeah. Hi, Professor Science. Hi, Daisy. What do you have for us today, Professor? Well, I really enjoyed visiting your farm today. And one of the animals we saw was a cow. Mm -hmm. And from cows, of course, we get milk. And I thought I'd do an experiment with milk. Ooh, a milky experiment. Sounds like fun. This is a fun experiment. So I have some milk from one of your cows, and I've put it in this bowl. Now we need to put some food coloring into, uh, onto the milk. So let's, uh, let's take some of this food coloring. Why don't you help me? Okay. And let's put a bunch of food coloring onto the milk. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is to complete this experiment, I'm just gonna add some dishwashing soap to it and watch what happens. Oh, wow, the colors are moving. Isn't that incredible? Yeah, how does that work, Professor? Well, what's going on is the food coloring is less dense than the milk. So it actually floats on top of the milk. And then when I added the dishwashing soap, it goes down into the milk and it actually breaks up the fat molecules that are in the milk and that creates movement. So as the milk is moving, uh, the food coloring just goes along for the ride, producing this beautiful ocean of color. That milk is really pretty. It really is. But you don't want to drink that milk because it has dishwashing liquid in it. And boys and girls, you can create your own ocean of color at home. If you'd like to learn more about color, just go to our website. And remember, it looks like magic, but it's science. Oh, what, what's that I hear? Why, it's the exercise song. Hey mateys, are you at home? Stand up, let's have a moment of exercise. Adults and parents too. Here we go. Now it's time to exercise. You should do it every day. Exercise is healthy and gets your body into shape. Start by stretching your arms and legs to warm your muscles up. You bend down slowly and touch your toes, and then you get back up. Now jump, jump! Clap your hands at the top. Jumping Jack is your friend. And run, run! It's too fun to stop. Like you're racing the wind Jump, jump Run, run Jump, jump Run, run It's time for a quick trick. Can you make a ring rise on a pencil? Sure you can. I'll show you how after this. Today's quick trick is brought to you by The Lemon. Lemons have many uses. You can cook with lemons, making lemon sauces to put over fish and other foods. And you can make lemonade. But lemons are also used in soaps and all types of cleaning liquids. Lemon and hot tea can help make your sore throat feel better. And before they had lipstick, ladies rubbed lemon juice on their lips to make their lips look red. Lemons are high in vitamin C. They also contain potassium and vitamin A. Place those all together and you have the lemon. So squeeze some lemons today and make some lemonade. It tastes great. And now, here's the quick trick secret. For this trick, you're gonna need a pencil and some thread. 
either some thin black thread or some clear thread. Now, I've already attached a piece of the thread to the top of this pencil. But to make sure that you can see it clearer for this demonstration, I'm going to use a much thicker thread, like this one that I've attached to this pencil. Okay. So beforehand, take the thread and tie it to the top of the pencil. Take the other end of the thread and wrap the other end of the thread around a button on your shirt or your blouse. Now you're ready to perform. Hold the pencil, borrow a ring, place the ring over the pencil and the thread so that it rests on your hand. Now to make the ring rise, I'm going to turn so you can see this, all you have to do is move your hand away from your body. Watch. As you move away, the thread pulls the ring up on the pencil. And that's the Quick Trick secret. For more Quick Tricks, be sure to check out our website. In the meantime, try this one at home and you'll have some fun. <laughs> did you have fun on Daisy's farm today, Joey? I sure did, I learned a lot. Well, what are you gonna put in your journal today? Well, today I learned how fruits and vegetables really grow. It takes a lot of hard work to grow our food. It sure does. And I learned what takes place on a farm and how to take care of farm animals. You know, we really have to thank our farmers. They work very long, hard hours to grow our food. Say, Nike, what has two antenna eight legs in his red in color? I don't know, Joey, what has Two antenna, eight legs, and is red in color. I don't know either, but it's crawling up your shoulder. Uh, what? <laughs> gotcha. Oh, will you just say goodbye? Bye, everyone. Thank you for being my friend. <laughs> and remember, boys and girls, the real magic is in you. Bye, everybody. Bye. Funding for this program is brought to you by Alpha Natural Resources. We fuel progress around the world. We do this through the energy of our people. Charleston Area Medical Center, the heart and soul of healthcare. On the web at camc.org forward slash kids to learn more about the 5210 initiative to keep kids healthy. The West Virginia Mutual Insurance Company, working every day with physicians in the entire healthcare community to improve public health. The West Virginia Mutual Insurance Company, physicians insuring physicians. For more information, visit us online at www.wvmic.com. And by the West Virginia School of Osteopathic Medicine is proud to support Abracadabra as part of its Healthy Children's Initiative, which is focused on improving the health of West Virginia's children.